Hi YouTubers and watchers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this time around, we're going to have a shave with Dr. Browner's Peppermint Organic Shaving Soap. I learned about this from a tweet from uh, Mantic59 and a variety of blog posts on the internet, so my thanks to him, and I didn't realize that this product line was out there. Now, this is something new to their product line. Um, I don't know how recently they added this, but Dr. Bronner's is known for their Castile soap. You can buy it in a big bottle like this and it has like 18, 20 different uses. You can use it in the laundry, you can use it to wash your dishes, you know, manually hand wash your dishes. You can use it as a toothpaste, you can use it, yeah, as a toothpaste, you can use it as, as a um, a spray cleaner. I mean, it's got a lot of different uses and you can see I've already been using it in the laundry and around the house and it really is good stuff. This is a citrus scent and you can also shave with this. People shave with this soap and it comes in uh, a wonderful variety of uh, different scents. This is their citrus scent. I also have their wonderful peppermint scent. I just showered with it this morning. You can use this as a body wash and a face wash. And uh, the key here is to dilute the solution. So you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. Um, this is also unscented. So if you have young children, unscented is a really good option. It has a lot of wide variety of, uh, of uh, scents. Uh, it also comes in bar soap. Here it is uh, in peppermint and uh, also in the uh, citrus. So I decided to do a little explore, exploring around town. It turns out my local grocery store chain, Heinen's, carries a complete line of Dr. Bronner's. Now I bought the Dr. Bronner's uh, peppermint shaving soap uh, online from Amazon. I'll have links below for all of this stuff, but we're gonna shave with this. This falls in the category of, um, in my opinion, of the super slicks. Uh, you've got to be really careful with this when you open it up. It is very, very runny. It'll just run right out of this tube. Um, so that's the first thing to be aware of. The second thing to be aware of is that uh, although it's designed to be used with the hands, you put a little bit in your hands, you massage it, massage it into your wet face, and you can shave. Uh, I use a brush with this, and that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use my copper shaving bowl. And I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Dark Stallion Badger brush to uh, make a lather. So when I make a lather with a brush with this, I use a, a little bit more product than, um, than the quarter size that they recommend for using it with your hands. Um, and I may have to add a little more to get that third pass, but... Um, a lot here, so adding a little more in your shaving bowl uh, isn't really going to deplete it very fast. We're going to be using my Gillette Tech Post War uh, Razor. Boy, I love this thing. Isn't that beautiful? Look how great that shape it is. Wow. Made just after World War II. We're also going to be using a uh, Persona razor blade. Got it right there. And um, I'm going to finish it off with uh, Osma Allen Bar and uh, some Parasso because uh, the shaving soap is uh, peppermint, so I want to follow up with something that complements it. So this menthol really does a nice job. I have used it already uh, a few times. Super slick, does a really nice job. Don't expect a really, really thick Santa beard at all because um, that's not the way it is. But boy, it does give you a slick, slick shave. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of hot water in my bowl here. I'm going to heat that bowl up a little. See the water in there? I'm going to heat the bowl and, up a little uh, bit. Let me clear out all these other Okay, items. now I got everything cleared away. Got a nice working area here. So uh, the first thing I want to do really is I want to load my blade right now. My Persona blade right there. I'm going to put that. Okay, so we're all aligned and ready to go. Nice, mild, mild razor. Really nice, really, really nice, nice, mild razor. So I'm looking forward to this. Persona is a nice, sharp blade, a bit on the mild side. So uh, I'm expecting a really nice result from this shave, given the fact that um, I'm using a super slick. So we're going to definitely need uh, three passes to knock the beard down. Okay, hey, let's wet the face and let's get to it. All right, I'm going to dump this out. That's bowl is warmed up very nicely. 
again, this stuff is running. Now, before I, um, you can see I got some on the cap there. It's very, very running. Now, before I go any further, see that little indentation on the bottom there? That's what I am going to um, fill. It is not that thick uh, on the inside. I'm just going to put a slight layer to cover that entire area. And that seems to be, for me, uh, the proper amount to get three passes out of. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, let's soak the brush. Okay, so now the brush is soaking and uh, we're all set. But anyhow, that gives me a little time to talk about how much I'm going to use uh, on this bowl here. And that is, uh, as I say, a little more than what you may be, what they may recommend because you use your hands for this. I'm going to be using a brush. I need a little more uh, to create a lather for three passes. So I'm going to fill that area there. That's probably about three quarters worth, you know, the, the a coin. Uh, 25 cents. It's probably, they recommend, I think they recommend, I read someplace, about the size of a quarter. Well, I need about two to three quarters. So I'm going to use that. So we're just going to, ooh, see, look how, look how that runs right out of there. Okay, and that's got it. Okay, I've got that in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's in there, and I'm going to close this. And really, when you set this back down, you might have a little bit of leakage coming out. So you might want to wipe that off. Okay, so let's just, my brush has been soaking long enough while I talk. I'm going to get that out of there and we're going to start to build a ladder. So already it's very, very slick. This gets very light and foamy and it whips up really quickly. Very, very fast. I mean, you can look, look how fast that is already. See? And it becomes very, very light and foamy. And again, I err on the side of using more than less. Wow, look how much. And I'm going to have more than enough three, for three passes. And you can always add a little bit of water here uh, while you're painting it on your face or while you're lathering it in the bowl. I seem to have just the correct amount. And see that right there? It is very, very light. Don't let the, um, the image fool you. And you can see how much I have here already. I mean, it just whipped up in seconds. So here we go. We're going to put that on the face. And again, I air it on the side of a little more than a little less. And it's going to become very, very light and frothy on my skin, on my face. Okay, so here we go. And it will be sloppy. So get ready for that too. And it's got a great peppermint scent, great scent. So if you use a little more, you'll get a little more lather, obviously. And I've used uh, different ratios, and this is probably some of the most lather I've gotten. And I really didn't use a lot, but I've used more than what I would have gotten. I I've used more than what I would have used if I was just doing it with my hands. But you can do this with your hands and work this up to a pretty good lather. I haven't done that with my hands yet. I will maybe down the road. And there you update the information below. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Rinse my hands a little bit. All right, let's heat up my razor. Okay, you can see it's starting to starting to lighten up a little bit. It is light and frothy like a lot of the other super slicks I've used out there. So it is not a thick, dense uh, Santa beard. It's light and frothy, but it gives you a lot of slickness. All right, and it's natural, it's organic, so it's supposed to be better for you, better for the earth. That's, what's, what's, that's, what, that's how they advertise it. So here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very slick, very, very slick. All 
A nice mild razor choice this morning, really nice. Working very well with this uh, shaving soap. No tugging, no pulling, just really, really nice glide. All right, it's the first pass down, let's rinse. First pass, not bad, knocked down the beard. Uh, other more aggressive razors would have knocked it down a little bit more than that, but because we're doing a three pass shave, not really a big deal. Got plenty of shaving cream here. Second pass should be even better because of the additional water on my face. And it really activates the uh, soap with that additional water on the face. Again, a really nice peppermint scent. The first time you use it, it really does hit you. Uh, but uh, you become, I guess I become used to it. And I even used the, uh, the, the peppermint scented Castile soap in the shower this morning. I used it as a body and a face wash. So... I guess this shaving soap didn't really hit me. Uh, the scent of it didn't hit me because I've already risen in the shower. But uh, if you use it, um, if you use it by itself the first time, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna feel a nice fresh. You're going to get a nice fresh peppermint burst. It'll really it'll be nice and fresh. It won't be overwhelming, but it'll be nice and fresh. Okay. That's more than enough. Okay, here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. All right, the second pass was very, very nice. Really did some initial knock, additionally knocking down the beard. Uh, really nice. I mean, I could probably touch up here and there. If I needed to go to the office, I could go to the office right now. But uh, ideally, I need a third pass, especially in this area and this area. Now, if you saw me, after I removed some of the shaving cream, I went back to an area that may not have may have looked like I didn't have any cream there, but there is an additional slickness that just stays on your skin, and I can feel the slickness right now. I could probably take the razor right now to my skin and do a little bit of touch-up without having to re-lather. That's how much slickness is on this product. So that's why I put it in the category of the super slicks. But um, if I had to run out to the office, I could get away with it. But uh, ideally, third pass is needed because we're using a rather mild blade and a rather mild razor. Even though the blade is sharp, it tends to be on the mild side. And the uh, razor is a, a nice mild performer. Really uh, uh, a very, very good choice if you're looking for something to give to a, a, a wet shaver um, who's just starting out, a, a first time wet shaver. Uh, this Gillette, any of the Gillette techs are nice mild performers and uh, you can find them everywhere on eBay and antique stores. And they're only, uh, gee whiz, you can find them for as little as $10. And some of them are in very, very good shape for about $15 to $20. Real good choice. Okay, here we go with uh, pass number three. And again, I have more than enough.
And again, this peppermint scent really is very, very, very nice. It's great. I like it. Really fresh, very natural peppermint scent. Okay. Again, look. Look how much I have. How much I have left over. I probably used a little too much, but again, I want to err on the side of um, using more because I have used less in the past and have not been able to get three passes. Uh, I have to add a little soap. So then you can do it that way too. You can start off a little bit and then work up a ladder. You see how fast it works up. And then uh, if you need a little more for a third pass, just add a little more shave in your bowl and whip it up. So it works both ways. So if you're looking on economizing, you could do it that way. All right, you can see again while I'm talking to you, it is getting light and, light and frothy on the face. That's characteristic of it. That's how it works. Uh, that's how most of the uh, super slicks work. Sorry about that. A little bit there I look. That's about, that's how most of the super slicks work. So we're gonna go with our third pass. We're gonna go south to north against the grain. All right, we're done. Let's rinse. Boy, it took a lot to rinse off this uh, shaving soap. It really, really is slick on the skin. I'm very, very surprised. And I've got a nice, close shave, a real nice shave. Um, let's drain the sink, and we're gonna do our two final passes, one warm and one cold. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Come on. All right, so here we go with our warm water rinse. Okay, we're gonna go with our cold water rinse now. And again, I really had to rinse to get that additional product off. That was, uh, it's, it's very, very slick. Okay, here's our cold water rinse. Wow, 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 that peppermint shaving soap, the remnant that's on there, when that cold water hits it, really, really wakes up your face. Wow, that was great. All right, let's, uh, let's dry off. I got a fresh, clean towel right here waiting for me. Wow, very nice, feels very, very refreshed. Really feels nicely refreshed. All right, let's go with my Osma Alum Bar. Going to run under some cold water here and take care of any micro abrasions or small, minute mixture cuts I might have. It's an astringent, it's antibacterial, it'll help tighten up your pores. It'll also, give you some feedback as to whether or not you went too far, as far as too aggressive of a shave. And, I did not. No zinging, no stinging. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna just let that set up. Now again, I remind you, always, always pat your alum bar dry like that. Get all the water off of it so it won't, you know, if you leave water on it, I've read that it don't just, it'll just dissolve. So just get the water off of it. If you have a little dish like this, set it in a dish. Let it air dry, and I'll be ready for your next shave. So, let that set up. Okay, that's great. So now I'm gonna finish it off with some Parasso aftershave. Again, this has some menthol in it, and it complements the, uh, the peppermint scent of the uh, shaving soap very, very nicely. I've used this in the past also, and it's worked out very well. Great shave, <laughs> really, really nice. This stuff is really slick. It'll give you a nice, comfortable shave, a slick shave. Now I use the 
Gillette Tech, which is on the mild side, you could probably up your aggression uh, a little bit using a little more aggressive razor, a little more aggressive blade. However, I recommend first time out, go mild with this. Get the get used to the, uh, the, the different approach of it being slick on the face and not giving you a lot of um, dense uh, lather, cushion kind of, a, kind of approach. Uh, very nice, very slick. Um, the blade really does glide across the skin, and boy, there's a lot of slickness there. I was really, really impressed with this. Uh, considering that you can shave with their regular Castile soap product, and I have shaved with this, and I'm going to do it on camera as well. Uh, I think it lathers a little bit more. I think it has a little more slickness. Um, I was really impressed with it. Very, very nice. Uh, um, great peppermint scent. Uh, Boy, it really, it, talk about a, a great shave to wake up your face. You use this and you couple that with the Parasso aftershave. Wow, you, it really does wake up the skin. I can still feel the peppermint and the menthol from the Parasso and everything working on me here. Really, really very, very nice. So uh, a great, great uh, combination to go with to get a nice, mild morning shave, uh, provided you use a nice mild razor like the Gillette Tech. Uh, with uh, the Persona Blade. If you want to go a little more aggressive and get something that uh, a razor is a little more aggressive, go ahead. Uh, I think the slickness of this will really take care of that. It's not going to be a problem it, because the blade just glides across, no tugging, no pulling at all. Really, really nice performer. I'm impressed. All right. Hey, thanks very, very much. That's all I wanted to say. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell next time I upload a video. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.